The Nigerian Senate has passed for second reading a bill seeking to regulate and formalize informal sector employment in Nigeria. The sponsor of the bill, Senator Mohamed Sani, in his presentation, said the bill also seeks to empower the National Directorate of Employment to issue licenses and monitor privately owned agencies. Sani said the operation in the informal sector was usually on a small scale with labor intensive production and usually private ownership driven. In their contributions, other lawmakers said it was also important to ensure that the bill has provisions to protect employers as there have been instances when an employee treats the employer unfairly. Many jobs in the informal labor market in Nigeria still experiences, they experience decent work deficit. Employees in the informal sector are often seen as having no rights and are not treated fairly by their employers. All of these bill seeks to correct. Mr. President, my distinguished colleagues, this bill empowers the National Directorate of Employment to issue license and monitor the activities of employment agencies throughout the country. The National Directorate of Employment therefore shall a on an application from an agency who desired to function as an employment agency in the prescribed format issue a license after having been duly satisfied that one, the agency is registered either as a sole proprietorship, partnership firm, company, or as non-profit organization. A bill for an act to regulate and formalize the employment of domestic workers, apprenticeships, interns, and other informal sector employees in Nigeria and to empower the National Directorate of Employment to issue license to issue license and monitor privately owned employment agencies whose responsibility will be to enroll employees in their data bank, safeguard and enhance their social security and oversee their recruitment by employers who engage in legitimate occupation on such terms and conditions as may be agreed by the parties and for other related matters, 2022 20, second reading taken. And the bill is referred to the Committee on Labor and Productivity.